Heringo Brag. Go Brag. Go Brag. Go Brag. Go Brag. Go Brag. Go Brag. Hey, right now, okay, and this is Cigar Vlog. Okay, so I have absolutely no idea how in the hell you're supposed to pronounce that last word, but it's Eringo something or other. Apparently, this is from La Aurora, and this is their infused line. This one, particularly, is flavored after Irish whiskey, which I find a little odd, because if you think about it, cigars typically have a very whiskey-esque profile in the first place. So, whiskey plus tobacco crossover? Anyway, we're going to spark this out and see how it goes. Unfortunately, I have uh, had a little bit of an incident with uh, Oddwell storage, so hopefully that won't be an issue. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this lit up and listen to all the people walking by and try not to make a complete fool of myself. Because there is a bike path behind me and I have a camera in a tree and I look like a bit of a fool. Anywho. Such is the state of the video. That was a little dusty. A little dusty, a little dry and dusty and for some reason my light is on and it's just like hitting me right in the eyeball. So right off the get-go, clean tobacco, a little sweet, dusty, dusty tobacco, that's getting stuck in my teeth. Subtly sweet, almost vanilla-ish. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is actually lit, we'll smoke this down to about an inch, and then uh, update you from there with uh, hopefully a little bit more information. Okay, about an inch in, and for some reason it is dark enough that my camera's light is like shining straight in my eyeball. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna set my flash thing on the next shoe. So anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Irish whiskey flavored. However, the hell you're supposed to say that. This is apparently La Aurora's actual foray into the infused realm of cigars. Now, when it comes to infused cigars, these are technically considered flavored cigars, which is why Cigar Aficionado won't touch them with a 10-foot pole. But a typical flavored cigar versus an infused cigar, your typical flavored cigar is going to be the shittiest tobacco you can find, roll into a cigar of varying quality, and then just dunked into a vat of vanilla crap. An infused cigar, on the other hand, actually has various flavored compounds misted into motorcycle and guy riding on a bicycle. Hey! Welcome to Colorado. Everybody thought Dorothy. So anyway, a typical infused cigar will have a flavor that is misted into the actual curing barn, like for instance with Drew Estate, where a botanical oil will be infused into the actual cigar during the tobacco curing process. At least that's how Drew Estate does it, as far as I'm aware. This is La Aurora's attempt. They decided to incorporate Irish whiskey into a cigar, which I find a little bit of an odd choice since cigars typically have a number of very whiskey friendly tones in the first place. So, why? Well, anyway, flavor wise, you can get a little bit of the actual kind of whiskey note, you get that kind of sweetness, a little bit of vanilla, a touch of woodiness. And then there's the actual tobacco, which, well, let's face it, if you're smoking an infused cigar, the actual tobacco flavor is kind of negligible because it's going to be so heavily infused and could lower that shine right in my eyeball. Anyway, the actual tobacco flavor is going to be second fiddle to the infusion. And in this case, mostly butter toast. It's a buttery, toasty note to the overall tobacco, along with that kind of slight whiskey sweetness, whatever, uh, from the infusion. <sighs> At least that's what I'm getting one inch in. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down at the halfway point, maybe think about something else to talk about with this. 
if it comes to mind. And uh, you know, I'll give you an update to the halfway point. And I'm going to adjust my auto brightness settings because I've got to shut the damn flash off. I'll take you at the halfway point. All right, so just a quick update here. Not quite the halfway point, but the ash did just fall off. I think it's probably because I took the band off. I don't think there's any issue with the construction of this. I think it's just the fact that I messed with it. If you take a look at this, there's a good, at least, solid double, at least a double cap on here. So, given the fact that the ash fell off a little early, that should not be taken as a sign of inferior quality construction. Construction. Blah. As stated previously, I, if I'm not mistaken, these are made in the La Aurora factory, and that is one of the more uh, top-end boutique brands. So they're known for quality construction. So uh, yeah, the uh, hole here and uh, the fact that uh, the ash fell off literally, uh, consider that user error. Otherwise, so far it seems pulled up pretty good. Proper update in about uh, a couple minutes here. All right, right about the more accurate halfway point here. The flavor so far has been pretty consistent. You get this kind of subtle, I know that there's infusion here, sweetness, but it's a little too subtle to really stand out. The actual tobacco itself starts off a little peppery, and then gets this kind of woody, toasty, buttery, kind of interesting flavor, but at the same time, the whole point of this is to be an infused cigar. It's supposed to taste like Irish whiskey. As is, you can kind of taste the infusion of the subtle kind of woody sweetness that you find typically in an Irish whiskey, or you can point out the more tobacco-y notes from the actual cigar tobacco. This can be either a good thing or a bad thing depending on what your particular approach to an infused cigar happens to be. Me personally, well, my first infused cigar was a Dura State's Acid Line, so... If it's going to be infused, it better be over-the-top magic, not this is subtle, and I can't tell if this is the infusion or if this is the tobacco, because it's so subtle, I can't taste shit. <laughs> anyway, that's watched my channel for a while and knows I'm not a fan of subtlety, because subtlety doesn't taste like anything. But this one, it's subtle, but it's noticeable. You know, it's not over-the-top in your face, but you still notice that there's something there That is interesting. That retrohale had kind of, I want to say roasted marshmallow flavor, which is weird. Interesting, but weird. Anyway, so far, as from the last update, uh, I accidentally tapped the ash, so this is about the proper halfway point. Construction of this so far has been pretty much top tier. Uh, nice, tight, you know, good couple, couple of caps on there. So it's definitely not gonna fall apart on you. Everything's burning really well. And, uh, yeah, so far I don't have any problems with the construction of it. My whole thing is, you've got a cigar, which typically has kind of whiskey overtones in the first place of sweetness, smokiness, woodiness. This is in line with what you find in whiskey, so on paper it makes sense. You've got a smokable stick and a drinkable liquid that both have this sweetness, smokiness, a little bit of bite to it. On paper it, it works. It should fit together really, really nicely. In practice, it's kind of a case of why? Because you're basically kind of doubling down on the same flavors. So it's just one of those little conundrums to kind of wrap your head around. If you've got a cigar that tastes like whiskey and it's flavored to taste like whiskey with a whiskey infusion, are you really actually gaining anything? Anyway, that's just something to kind of think about here and I'm probably putting a little too much thought into this. This motorcycle will buzz later. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and contemplate that while getting down to the nub here. You can definitely smell there is kind of a whiskey sweetness in the aroma. But right, anyway, <laughs> there's that kind of burnt marshmallow smell. If you like the smell of roasted marshmallows out on the campfire, this would be right up your alley. As far as what to drink with it, water. Hell, I don't know. Drink whatever you like. It's an infused cigar, so it's going to have a taste of one thing or another. Is it going to complement? Is it going to clash? Is it going to completely overpower? I have no idea. You just drink whatever you want with it because the focus here is on the infusion. At least it's supposed to be. Well, anyway, I'm kind of rambling on here now. I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to the nub and give a final update from there. Hopefully, uh, things will either get a little more tobacco-oriented or a little more infusion-oriented. 
We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll update you at the foot, at the uh, at the nub here. Okay, so this is about as good an end point as ever. Considering I'm about to burn my fingers on this. So far, flavors have been pretty consistent all the way through, which is actually not a bad thing if you're into this. But I've basically noticed that uh, the cigar is kind of weird. You've got a very clear, kind of toasty, buttery, slightly peppery tobacco note, along with a sweet, woody, vanilla-ish whiskey note from the infusion. And it's kind of strange because you notice both of these different flavor profiles in the same puff, because they don't kind of, it, it, it's just, they don't really want to mesh very well, which is weird, because you'd think they'd be, you know, it's like I said before, on paper it works, in reality it's like, this is just not really coming together, and I'm not sure why that is. I mean, they should be compatible, but they're just kind of not. But then again, that's just my particular take on it. You know, I mean, if you like being able to pick out the tobacco from the infusion, then yeah, this would be totally fine. But my first infused cigar was a Drew Estate Acid, so that was all about the infusion, and like, that's it. It could, it, you know, it, it could have been a vape <laughs> for, for all intents and purposes. Beyond that, though, construction's been pretty good. Everything's been pretty good. Make sure I'm not going to get run over by a bicyclist. Okay. <laughs> Construction's good. Flavors, not bad, but still just kind of bewildering as to why you would make a cigar, which already has a whiskey profile in the first place, taste like Irish whiskey, which has a similar profile to the cigar, and just... <laughs> Error 404. File not found. Okay, anyway... <laughs> I mean, if you can get these on the cheap, I would definitely say go for them. Otherwise, I'd probably pass on these in flavor, in flavor, in flavor of, in favor of something a little more flavorful in either the tobacco or the infusion sense. Just because, like I said, they just don't really want to mesh very well. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just, it's, it's weird. Well, anyway, drink pairings, drink whatever the hell you like with it because it's, it's a flavored cigar, technically speaking. So it kind of doesn't really matter what you drink with it. Beyond that, though, I'm pretty much out of gas on this one. Uh, yeah, pretty much. If you like this review or any other, yeah, if you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you had a different uh, experience. Let me know if you actually enjoy these uh, for what they are. Other than that, let me listen to the nice echo. The only thing I have to add to this is, uh, yeah, this is what Christmas in Colorado looks like. They didn't even bother to decorate the streetlights. Anyway, check out my Twitch stream. Sundays and Wednesday nights, midnight to 2 a.m. Recorded for about a week or two afterwards. Earn that. That's all I got. I'll see you next time.